Claymore's version 9.7 CryptoNote AMD GPU Miner for Windows. Claymore has updated his CryptoNote GPU Miner to version 9.7, and although this miner is not any faster than 9.6, it does have a lower development fee if you use the SSL TLS connection. It has also added the all pools option so that you can use pools that have a username and worker name. All of the options can now be stored in the config file config.txt. I'm going to remove the pound sign in front of all pools. He has also changed the pools text. Now you can add more details for each pool that you want to use. You can see that I've added USA and EU dwarf pool servers. I have my wallet address and my password, my email. You can check out the other options that he's added if you check his Bitcoin Talk forum thread. Here on the Supernova page, you can see that they have XMR Monero. Here you can see that they have added SSL for Claymore version 9.7. In my configuration file, you can see the SSL server. You can see my username, my worker name, and my password, and the all pools command. So I'll save the configuration file, close that, and then I'll go ahead and launch the miner by double clicking on the executable. You can see that it's loaded three pools, the primary pool and the two backup pools. It sees all seven of my 470s, and it is using the SSL connection. So these are seven RX 470s with modded ROMs and memory overclocked to 1,900 megahertz. And you can see that I'm getting over 4,900 hashes per second with all seven cards. And here are my six RX 480s. These are using the stock overclock ROMs, and the memory is overclocked to 2,200 megahertz on each card. And you can see that I'm getting over 4,300 hash per second out of the six cards. Last but not least, here are my two R9 295x2s, or four 290Xs. These are stock ROMs, no additional overclock, and you can see that they're generally getting over 3,000 hash per second, about 750 hash per second on each 290X GPU. So I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.